I'm at Vindolanda for two weeks, which is an archaeological site on Hadrian's Wall. I'm part of the archaeological excavation at Vindolanda for this period, um, which is going to be a fortnight of excavations. Um, it's not actually on the wall itself, it's just off from the wall because not all of the fort is Hadrianic, um, because the wall was obviously Hadrian's Wall, um, but uh, not all of the fort that, or the forts I should say, at Vindolanda is are Hadrianic forts. They're from lots of different periods. So um, I'm going to be video diaring the experience. Welcome to day one and it's looking really exciting. Um, the the kind of our kind of itinerary as it were is that we are looking at an anaerobic layer of material which is um, uh, the, the amazing thing about the site that is Vindlander is that because uh, the forts um, were built up, uh, there's many forts on top of each other. Each time they built a new fort or they built new, they built something else on top of the old um, material, they knocked it all down and um, compacted it so that we get an anaerobic layer of organic matter and because of the clay it's preserved in an anaerobic layer so there's no oxygen so it gets preserved really nicely so you end up with things like um, wood shoes um, and things that would decompose under normal circumstances the cool stuff but there's a lot of stuff kind of in and on top of that layer that needs to be got rid of so today was mainly prepping we were taking off a lot of the kind of topsoil the spoil that had been um, put on top of it last time because they've already like, dug some bit down the most exciting thing i think i found today was we found a bit of wall which is a rubber a rubber which is a rubble foundation wall from the antonine period so that's second century ad found this kind of bit of rubble antonine wall because we were digging in this trench um, which has already been dug in previously um, down a bit further but we're doing the next bit so we did it on the other side there's a cobbled roman road there's a cobbled roman road we're on the other side so we're on kind of the outside of the road being away we're trying to find like the anaerobic layer we're trying to find the cool stuff and then we hit um a foundation of, a, of an antonine rubble wall and it's just like ah oh, i didn't get any i didn't bring my camera to the actual dig today didn't get any actual um footage of us digging um dig moans um are that there's lots of midges i'm getting hay fever i forgot to take a tablet this morning and you can probably tell my eyes look really red and swollen and that's because of hay fever there's midges everywhere i'm being eaten alive by midges um, hard work but it's really fun it's really rewarding i'm really enjoying it this is all part of the fun like you just got to go with it it's great um the the, the environment here is just spectacular it's beautiful i mean you can probably see behind me we've got trees we've got moors we've got hills we've got heather it's beautiful there's lots of colors i'm loving it so um this is really exciting and um uh, recently um if you look at their blog um you'll find you'll find out that they just found some new tablets and uh if you know anything about vindolanda what you might know about vindolanda are the vindolanda tablets they're great they're letters that it's awesome i mean we're reading these letters from 2000 years ago and it's they're great and they're from the borders of the roman empire but very very singular find they found some earlier ones in london but the thing about the ones at vindolanda is that this is the edge of the Roman world. We're at the edge of the world and we have writing. We have some of the only writing from a Roman woman inviting her friend to a birthday party. It's just the most human things that went as well. The thing about this site, which makes it so amazing, is that you always find stuff here. We're always finding stuff here. It's so exciting. We never, they never seem to stop finding stuff here. They find one set of Roman tablets, then bam, find another set of Roman tablets, which is really exciting because apparently uh, the name of a guy that they found, the name that they found on one of the original uh, Roman tablets um, has appeared on the new ones. So they found this new set of tablets and they found hopefully the name of the same guy, uh, of the same Roman who's sending a letter like months after the other one i'm not sure it's very exciting we don't know much yet i'm staying in the main kind of accommodation of the excavation so uh because i'm a bursary applicant so everyone is lovely we have a really mixed team really mixed ages a really mixed backgrounds quite a few aussies it's going to be a really fun dig